Hey guys, and welcome to my playthrough of PC Building Simulator. I saw this on sale on Steam and thought it'd be cool to play in a stream, so here we are. Okay, so I guess we have the option of, uh, these are DLC, you can purchase these later on if you want to. Um, but let's uh, we'll start off with the main workshop here. Looks pretty nice. At least size space. I love the stools. Kiki's Kiwi. Hey, welcome to the stream. All right, so go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program. Okay, cool. Nice. So we've got like a virtual little, little office here. I like this. Some nice posters on the wall. Very cool. A whiteboard. Awesome shelf and some parts. Oh, is that like? It looks like a NES. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Trash can. Dinosaurs. You can change your decorations. Okay, cool. Oh, it turns on Christmas. Oh, that's cool. Halloween decorations. Nice. All right. Well, let's take a look at this PC. And uh, nice. This is this is pretty cool. Oh hey, so that desktop wallpaper is actually the same wallpaper I've got on my computer right now. That is very cool. It's got my mountains in the background, the lake. Uh, all right, so let's go to email here. Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry it's not in a better state. A few thanks. The company isn't doing very well, and there's no money in the bank account. Oh, well, that's not good. The rent energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste and putting in a CPU. I almost always forget. Well, yeah, you kind of need to remember that. <laughs> thermal paste is super important. Uh, the music is overheat, yeah. So I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you did better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. P.S. I had to borrow 15 for fuel, you know how it is. Yeah, okay, don't sweat it, Uncle Tim. That's fine. Um, I think I think we'll be okay. Hopefully. Hi, Tim. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual, and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. Okay, cool. So we've got a job here uh, to remove viruses. That sounds pretty simple. Um, I actually, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do tech support uh, for a living, and I do a lot of virus removals, so I think we can probably handle this. Oh, okay. So this is the PC. He dropped it off here, I guess, in our office. Tim's Red Hot Repairs. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, we've got the PC. I guess we'll put it on our workbench over here. Maybe? Maybe not. Where where do we want to put it? Ah, here, okay. Plug the PC in, okay. For this job, you need to run a virus scan. Press three or the cable button and plug the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power into the back of the PC. This looks like... The keyboard. How, how do we pick up the cable? Okay. I mean, PC Building 101. If you can't pick up the cables, you're not going to get very far. <laughs> and right now, I don't know how to pick up these cables. Uh, okay, I guess we just click on the cable and then click on where it plugs in. So we've got the power cable. There we go. Cool. Believe it or not, when I built my uh, latest system that we're streaming on, I actually... So it was a funny story for you guys. It was uh, three, well, 2 a.m. when I finally finished building it, and I tried turning it on, and nothing happened. And it turns out I actually forgot to plug it in. <laughs> so we've got that step down here, which is good. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. 
press 1 or the install button to go into your inventory and select the USB drive. It plugs into the USB slot on the back of the PC. Cool, so we've got it to boot. That's awesome. Insert the... oh. We have to plug a USB drive. I guess I didn't. Okay. No. <laughs> I feel like if we turn the computer around too far, it's going to snap the cables or something. Uh, USB drive. What USB drive? Missing something here. So, USB drive. There we go. Okay. Now we're in business. All right. So we want to install the virus scanner. Last well, little bit though. Just. Gets stuck and takes a little while to install. You must restart. Yeah, okay, let's restart. Okay, so we'll fire up the virus scanner here. Whoa, 356 infections. Okay, that's not good. That's not the most I've ever seen. Uh, in real life, I had a computer once that had uh, 30,000 infections. It was completely unusable. Like, this computer looks clean, like there's nothing on it. And uh, we'll unplug everything here. Or maybe we don't have to. Can we just pick the computer up without unplugging it? Yes, we can. If only it worked like that in real life. 100 bucks just to hit the button there to remove viruses. That's, that's pretty good right there. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. It's another day. Get the office. All right, let's turn the lights on. All right, so let's, uh, I guess we'll check our email here. Hello, could you have a look at my PC, please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it, and I've probably not been taking care of the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty. Could you give it a once-over, please? If you can, I'll bring it around t tonight, ready for you in the morning. Thanks, P. Sherman. P. Sherman at, what is it, One Wallaby Way? <laughs> or something like that? Funny Nemo reference? Sherman Dental, oh, yeah. Sherman Dental, so this is definitely a reference to Finding Nemo. But geez, that is dusty, look at that. Like, that's so grimy, ew. Were they using this as a fish tank? Like, and I hope they take better care of their fish tanks. Oh, this is slow. Oh, there we go. Is this Christmas music? <laughs> That's so weird. It's June. And we're listening to Christmas music. You know what this calls for? Christmas lights. In June. In stockings. Hi, my graphics card has fried itself. I need to be replaced with the same one, please. And anybody at GTX 970, maybe one of those Shion ones? I guess it's a brand. I could drop it around first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, let's so replace the graphics card. That sounds fun, too. So let's go ahead and order the graphics card. She wanted a, uh, a Xeon GeForce GTX 970 or better. Okay. You just added the following parts to our range. Zotac GeForce GTX and 50 Ti OC Edition. That's an actual card. That's cool. Okay. I wonder if that's cheaper than the other card that we can maybe give that to uh, Queen Brittany here. Is Xeon an actual brand? I don't know. I've never heard of them before, but... Maybe they, they're like a budget brand or something. He was looking at the uh, Xeon 970, which is exactly 265. But the 1050 is 165. I think this is actually, it's got four gigs of VRAM. Higher clock speeds though. So I think this is what we're gonna go for. For I think she'll be really happy with this card. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Zotac cards. I'd rather go with the higher end uh, EVGA, but uh, for her budget build, I think that's fine. So let's grab that. Save her some money. Okay. 
Oh, these little screws. Jeez. Okay. The graphics card. And we'll install her new graphics card. Okay. Install that. Alright, I think we're good. So let's uh let's put the panel back on. Inferior? What? Seriously? How is that inferior? I thought we were doing a good job here. 1050 Ti is inferior to the 970? What? <laughs> okay, well whatever. At least she's got a working computer. Let's just try plugging in and see what happens. Can we do that? Let's see what this game, why this game thinks that it's an inferior graphics card. Inferior. I'll show you inferior. I mean, it works. I don't know what it's complaining about. <laughs> How how is it how is this card inferior to the 970? That makes no sense to me. N50 Ti should not be inferior. But okay, video game logic apparently going on here. So let's turn it off then. I guess we're just gonna have to buy the card she asked for. But like, look, let's look at the specs, okay? So like, if we go down here, the card she wanted was this one. The, G the Xeon GeForce GTX 970. It's got four gigs of RAM. Core frequency is 1178, right? Uh, memory frequency is 1753. What? What? 1506. So it is faster. But because the memory frequency is 1752 megahertz instead of 1753, they're saying it's inferior. If I had a, a face cam right now, you guys would see that I look completely astounded right now. I'm basically that blinking guy gif that you see. Just like, what? <laughs> but okay. Yeah, he's got pictures on here. He's got a diary. <laughs> wow. Oh man, I don't want to go browsing through people's files. That's just not right. What do you think, guys? Should we read his diary? You think so? Okay. Let's go for it. Let's see what the screenshot is first. Permission to... Oh, okay. We'll try the screen diary. Oh, come on. It won't let us. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was the guy that was looking at those dodgy sites. So I, I think it's a good thing we weren't able to look at those pictures that he had in his computer. Hi there. I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim, and it's been overheating whenever I try and do anything on it. I took a look under the CPU cooler, and there's no thermal paste. What kind of a Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand that you fix this for free, and this time test the PC before you send it back out. Wow. Dr. Waterman, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's not something I would do. If I was the one working on the computer, I always check the thermal paste. Always. Except when I don't. But I usually do. we go. Very nice. That goes on so much easier in this game than it does in real life. Like, honestly, out of any cooler I've ever used, the standard stock cooler that comes with an Intel processor just is the worst thing. It's these little pins here break all the freaking time. All the time. 